Hi, I'm Corlandos, your tutor for this course's unit on algebra. Sometimes algebra can be a little intimidating, but once the fundamental skill of turning words into equations is mastered, it's simple to solve all kinds of problems with speed and confidence. In the interest of total test day domination, let's run through some math vocabulary words that signal what operation you'll need to use before we take a look at some problems. You can tell that you're being asked to add if you see the words the sum, increased by, or more than. So we could say that x plus 2 is the sum of x and 2, x increased by 2, or 2 more than x. If you're being asked to multiply, you'll typically see the words product or of. So 1 fourth times x could also be written as the product of 1 fourth and x, or 1 fourth of x. Division is a bit trickier, but there are still phrases that signal division. One of these phrases is how many times greater than. So if we're asking 20 is how many times greater than 5, we're really saying what is 20 divided by 5? If you're being asked to subtract, you'll probably see the words difference, decrease by, differ by, less than, or subtract from. So, for example, x minus 2 could be written as the difference of x and 2, x decreased by 2, or 2 less than x. Since we're turning words into equations, we also need to know when to stick in an equal sign. You'll see phrases like is, is equivalent to, yields, represents, became, and was. You'll also need to know when to put in a variable or unknown. Typically, you'll see words like a certain number. So, 2 more than a certain number is just a fancy way of saying x plus 2. Finally, we need to know when to use a ratio. Words like each, per, for every, the ratio of a to b, x to y, x over y, and is what fraction of are all good indicators. Now let's put this all together to solve an ACT problem. The sum of a number n and 4 is 10. What is the value of the sum of n and negative 1? a is 2, b is 3, c is 5, d is 9, and e is 11. As usual, we'll underline our facts, circle the keywords, and label our answer choices. We see the words sum, number, and is, and we know we have a words to math problem on our hands. So the sum of a number n and 4 just means n plus 4. Is becomes equals, and we keep the 10. So the first expression is n plus 4 equals 10. If we subtract 4 from both sides, we find that n equals 6. For the second equation, we want the sum of n and negative 1, or n plus negative 1. Since we know that n is 6, that becomes 6 plus negative 1, or 5, which is answer choice C. So we turned words into equations for an addition problem. Now let's look at a word problem that involves multiplication. The product of two numbers is 20, while their sum is 12. What is the difference of the two numbers? a is 8, b is 17, c is 33, d is 188, and e is 212. As always, we'll underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. To solve this, we need to start by using our problem to write some equations. The product of two numbers, let's call them x and y, is 20. That means we have two unknowns that we're multiplying together. The second sentence tells us that their sum is 12, so x plus y equals 12, but we're looking for the difference of the two, or x minus y. Let's start by listing the factors of 20, the numbers that multiply together to get 20. The factors of 20 are 1 and 20, 2 and 10, and 5 and 4. Quickly scanning through our list, we can see that 10 and 2 are the only ones that multiply to get 20 and add up to get 12. Since 10 and 2 both multiply together to get 20 and add together to get 12, we know that those must be our x and y. Now we're looking for the difference of x and y, which means that we're going to subtract. 10 minus 2 is 8, so our answer is A. Well done. The math vocabulary we talked about in this lesson will show up everywhere, from simple equations like these to complex picking numbers, probability, geometry, and algebra questions. You'll never know when the ability to create an equation will come in handy on the ACT math section, so make sure you practice a few of the hundreds of problems available throughout this course.